Hi everyone. So welcome back to the seventh video of my mm, sessions. So I'll be concentrating more on GitHub on this particular session. So I'm going to cover the following topics in this session. The first topic would be um, how do we basically create master branch okay, in the GitHub and also how can we create a new branch out of master branch and also how can we pull the request and how do we merge the pull requests okay so let's assume so let me just uh, give you a brief on a real time scenario okay so let's assume you are having around 10 QA engineers or developers where you are working on a project okay and then so the master branch will have the final version of the code okay so whatever the coding you did okay so that final version of the code will be checked into a master branch okay so let's assume you have a master branch and from master branch if your team members okay these 10 team members would like to work on this particular would like to modify the code of this master branch so what they do they'll create their own branches okay and then modify the code and then check in the code again into the new branch okay and you have to pull the request to merge these new changes to the master branch okay so it's a real time scenario okay let me just explain all these items how do we create a new branch out of master branch how do we pull the request and how do we merge the latest code to the master branch okay so let me explain in the github practically so let's assume uh, this is my github okay where i have a DR, drl sample project okay so this is my drl sample project which is a master branch okay this is my master branch if you see here this is my master branch okay so this master branch has a uh, selenium automation okay coding okay so let's assume i want to basically modify this see let's assume this is your master branch as a team member i want to modify this palm xml okay so how do i modify so let's assume i go to palm xml and then i'll be editing this okay let me edit this first edit this palm xml file first okay and then add uh, let's say so i'm gonna just add the comments over here okay let me add comments here okay the first comment i want to add is so let me copy this one assume that this is a code change okay so i'll write down code changes code changes to the master branch to form a new branch to form a new branch okay what i'll say form file code changes form, form file code changes to the master branch to form a new branch okay let's assume team member one okay so i have made the changes to this particular palm file team member one has made changes to the palm file okay he changed the code let's assume so now once you change the code what you do you have to commit the changes but while committing the changes you should not commit the changes to the master branch because because someone has to review this code before merging into the master branch right so that is the reason i want to create a new branch okay so let me name it as drl sample underscore team one changes let's assume team one okay so team member one okay so i want to create a new branch okay that means it will take a copy of master branch and put it into a new branch called drl sample team one okay just click on propose file change okay so as soon as soon as you click on click on propose file change okay and then if you go back to your code so if you see here this is your master branch okay if i 
So whatever you are seeing here, this is your master branch. If I click on this one, just now I created right DRL sample team one. So this is my new branch which I have created. So this new branch will have the latest changes. Let me see if I have this latest changes. Okay. If you see here, I have the latest change whatever I made. Okay. If I go back to master branch again, okay. If I go back to master branch and see, you will not find these changes. See, I don't see that change whatever I made. Okay. Done. So let's assume as a project lead, okay, I'm very much, I'm very confident and I'm very sure that there is a code change that has to be done in Palm Fine. Okay, because I'm very much confident and I have an approval to make a code change to the master branch. Let's assume. Okay, so what happens? So I want to make code change directly to the master branch. Okay, so let me go and do that. Okay, this is my master branch. Let me go to the master branch of the palm file. And then because I'm very much sure I can do the changes directly to the master branch. Okay, let me edit this file. So once you edit this file, I want to add, let me add the same comments here. Okay. So let me copy this. So I, this time I will make a change in different way. Okay. So what I'll do here, code changes to master branch directly by team lead. Okay, let's assume this is my code chain which I am making to directly to the master branch. Okay, so as soon as you change it, you this time I'm gonna commit directly to the master branch. Okay, that is the reason I'm selecting this and click on commit changes. So as soon as you click on commit changes, so the latest changes have been committed to your master branch. Okay, so if you go back to code now, so now the master branch the palm file in the master branch has one code changes the code changes done by the team lead but whereas the palm file under a new branch has a different code right you have a different code in the new branch see if you see the new branch has a different code now if i want to merge these two what should i do so if you because now the team lead needs to review this, right? And merge these two. Let's assume I want to merge. Okay. So if you go back to code, if you click on code, you will have an option called compare and pull request. Okay. You just need to click on this compare and pull request. So we are discussing pull request. Okay. We already discussed forming a new branch and we made some changes to the same file. We also made some changes to the master. Now we are pulling the request. Okay. So as soon as you click there, so it is going to ask you what basically you want to pull request from what branches. So I want to select my branch, right? So if you see here, my sample DRL sample is this one. Okay. My repository is this from the master branch. And I want to compare with this, right? Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm actually comparing the master branch code with the new branch which I created. So I'm comparing these two. So as soon as I'm comparing that, what it says, I can't automatically merge. So most of the times, uh, if it is actually a code related things, the GitHub automatically merges the changes. So because there is a we inserted simple comments, right? So that is the reason it is not able to merge. But most of the times, um, Git will have um, capability to merge the code. Okay. So because it is not able to, can't automatically merge, you just need to click on create pull request. So as soon as you click, click on create pull request, it is going to show you the conflict. Okay. Because it is not able to resolve the conflicts. So if you see here, this branch has conflicts that must be resolved. Which one? This file. The conflict file is palm XML because the master branch has different code. The new branch has a different code. Okay. So to resolve this conflict, what you need to do? Click on resolve conflicts. So as soon as you click on resolve conflict, 
So it is going to show you what is the difference between the actual palm, I mean the master branch and what is the difference between your the new branch. Okay. So if you see here, it says the new branch is having the code, this palm file code changes to the master branch to form a new branch. But whereas your master branch palm file has this code, code changes to the master branch directly by the template. So I want to merge these two, right? So as a project lead, I feel that this is also valid and this is also valid. I want to keep these two code changes in the master branch and also the new branch. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll remove this. These are the comments actually inserted by the git automatically. Okay. So now this particular change is coming from my new branch and this change is coming from my master branch. Okay. I want to retain these two. Okay. So I reviewed it and I need to mark this as a result. As soon as you mark this as a result, you have to commit the merge, right? I want to merge these two branches. What? The new branch as well as the master branch with the updated code changes. Okay. Commit merge. So as soon as you commit merge, what happens now? You are merging process. The merging of the new branch with the master branch has been done. If you see here, your master branch has been merged into the new branch. What is the file updated? Palm file is updated, right? So that is done. Now, this branch has no conflicts. So now it is showing there is no conflict between the branches. So now you have to complete your merge pull request, right? Click on merge pull request. And then, so merge pull request is done. Okay, I clicked on merge pull request and then confirm merge. So as soon as you click on confirm merge, your pull request is successfully merged. Okay. So now if you go back again, okay, I want to go back to code now. I want to see how does my palm file under master will look like. Okay. This is my master branch. Okay. Go to palm file. It should have both the changes means the changes from the new branch and also the changes by uh, from the master branch by the team lead should be there means the changes from the new branch by the team member one and the changes from the master branch by the team lead are there here okay and also i want to see i want to go back again to the code and i want to see if these changes are exist in the new branch also so you just click here this is my new branch, right? So DLR sample underscore new branch. Sorry, this one underscore team one. Okay. If I click on team one, so if I go to form XML, okay. So here, if you see here, I should have both the changes. See, I have the changes from the new branch made by the team member one, and also I have the changes from the team lead who made changes in the master branch, right? So this is how you can create a new branch from the master branch so that you can make your own code changes and also you can pull the request for the new changes from the master branch and also you can merge all the pulled request changes to the master branch as well as the new branch okay so i hope this particular video helped you to understand the concepts of master branch new branch how can you make the changes to the master branch and new branch how can you merge the code in the into the branches okay hope you all like this video please subscribe to the channel and provide your comments in the comment box. Thank you.